much for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing a jelly sandwich manicure. Basically what a jelly sandwich is, is it's when you use jelly nail polish and then you layer glitter polish within it and then you layer the jelly polish over it once again to create sort of a sandwich. Um, as you can see here, I have a layer of my first jelly polish which is this piggy polish and this is called Flamingo. If you're not too sure if your polish is jelly, you basically want to look at it in the bottle. If you see that it's kind of runny or very sheer, then that's basically going to let you know that it is a jelly polish. So I have a layer of that on here. And the next thing I'm going to be doing, I'm going to actually be layering four different glitters um, so that we can create this dimensional, three-dimensional type of um, manicure. So the first one I'm going to be using is this OPI. This is a really pretty silvery glitter polish and this one is called Pirouette My Whistle. So let's go ahead and do a layer of this. You want to make sure that you pack on the glitter. So for example, this glitter here has a lot of um, larger chunky glitters and then also smaller glitters. So you want to make sure that you pat it on. So the way this manicure is, it's going to be kind of thick um, depending on the brand of polish that you use, the amount of polish that you use. Um, so this is one of those manicures that if you make it very, very thick, it will eventually start to chip off. Um, but it lasts also a really long time, so. So the next layer of polish that we're going to be using is this independent polish that I have here. Got this off of Etsy. It's actually one of my co-workers' wives. Um, she makes this polish and they're beautiful polishes. It's by Pretty Me Polish and this number here, this number, this is called Shortcake. So this is jam-packed full of glitter. So let's go ahead and put this on. that we're going to be using is this highly concentrated glitter polish. This is a clean color nail polish and as you can see here it's jam-packed full of glitter also. And this one here is called Fuchsia Glitter. So we're just going to go ahead and stick a layer of this on and now with these since there are such um, there's different types of glitter in here. There's large chunky glitter, there's smaller little glitters. You really kind of want to make sure that you get all the different ones in that's in the bottle on your nail basically. That's going to bring a lot of depth to it. Sometimes when you lay the polish down, no glitter comes out really. So at that point you just want to have to keep layering it on until you find some. Um, it might be helpful also um, if you use, for example, like a toothpick or a nail stick or something to pick off some of the polishes that are on the actual brush. You can pull some of those off and place them um, if you'd like to. OK, 
Okay, so now for the last glitter polish that we're going to be putting on. It's another clean color polish that I have here. It's this pretty light pink, highly holographic polish. And this one is called Take a Hint. Okay, so the very last step in this whole process is to place another coat of the jelly polish. So as you can see here, the nails have a whole bunch of layers of glitter to it, but once we put that last jelly top coat, it actually it, it, it diminishes the shine of it, however it's still very, very nice. So let's go ahead and get that started here and we'll see what the final results look like. So this is the final result minus the top coat. I just need to place one layer of set treat on over it. But as you can see here, it's really pretty. This jelly sandwich, the way it looks. Um, it is a very sheer but highly packed glitter manicure. I hope you guys give it a try if you haven't already done one of these in the past. They're really nice. Um, of course, the the removal of it is going to be, it's going to be fun. <laughs> um, if y'all have any questions or any comments, feel free to leave those down below. And I really appreciate you guys watching today. I'll go ahead and I'll make another video soon of something fun and exciting. If y'all have any suggestions or requests, leave that down below as well. Thanks so much guys for watching today.